and it is now time for the JPW Tag Team Championship match. opportunities in the past to demonstrate his ability to throw opponents all over the ring with suplexes and slams with drops from all sorts of angles off the ropes he takes chances he can fly as well he is one of the most exciting talents on the entire JPW side of the training facility and its roster Mike's cartwheel with one hand that's impressive continuing to control the wrist the left wrist of Ecstasy. And there you can see that Ecstasy's trying to reach the ropes, but ultimately he wasn't able to reach as Mike Strong tightens the grip on the side headline. Ecstasy with a number of shots to the abdomen as he sends Mike Strong to the ropes. High shoulder block by Mike Strong, taking down Ecstasy with ease. Ecstasy can match Mike Strong in terms of power, but I'm sure Wild Wyndham has prepared Ecstasy for everything that Mike Strong plans to throw at him. Drop down, and then the lead frog by Ecstasy. Keeps his balance. Lead frog by Mike Strong. Up and under and over, and a headlock takedown. This is why 
by Mike Strong is clearly classified as one of the most valuable players on the entire JPW roster. Over and over again, he tries to outdo the competition and tries to outdo any and all others that step into a JPW ring. Ecstasy has yet to get out of first gear as Mike Strong's been throwing him all over the place. Nice suplex for Wild Wyndham. Just interjected for a second. And even if one of the fingernails, even if one of those parts of his hand jabbed right into the eye socket of Mike Strong, it could have slowed him down. Big crushing right hand by Mike Strong to Ecstasy as Ecstasy's laid up on the ropes. Signing him for a ride. Touch the clothesline. Touch the back elbow as well. Ecstasy with a springboard crossbody. Nice move by the challenger. Ecstasy whips his body in the air. Nice senseless takeover. And he drops Mike Strong against that middle rope. Watch out, Ecstasy on the run. Mike Strong has down. Titus will try to be right here. Ecstasy staggers, makes the tag. Here's Wild Wyndham. And the big man on each side set the square off. Look at Mike Strong. Clobbering over the top headbutt smash. Wild Wyndham probably with a 20, 30 pound weight advantage over Mike Strong. Mike Strong and his athletic credentials. Oh my, arm dragon nearly dumped the Wild Wyndham man right on his head. And now Wild Wyndham is clamping on with all of his extremities along that top rope. Wild Wyndham choosing to wrestle this match barefoot. And it's a very questionable strategy by the challenger. But maybe he feels he's at his strongest when he has his feet firmly planted on the mat with all the feeling within each of the fibers of each of the muscles and the tissues in the feet. Going after the head and neck of Mike Strong. And you know Kid Prodigy wants to shut this man down, but he can't unless a tag is made. Mike Strong reverses win under the ropes, but he ducks the clothesline. Mixed direction, and the clothesline by Mike Strong knocks Wild Wyndham backwards right on the back of his own head. And Mike Strong, we've seen him take down opponents of all shapes and sizes before, but it's Wild Wyndham, a man that is too large for him to handle. The low shot, Mike Strong, definitely feeling the pain and the pressure in his sternum. I don't know, is that a low blow or not? Wyndham says he wants to kick Prodigy and we're finally going to get a chance to see it. Past his bedtime. Too young. We've heard all of the different sorts of things from the naysayers, but watch this kid prove everyone wrong and do it with ease. The lock up, and you can see right there, Wild Wyndham went straight for the head and the eyeballs, and then he went right ahead and he tried to polish his skull, and he slapped him in the face. How humiliating. The kid prodigy, that's, that's, that's a little unfair. Oh, kid prodigy, he strikes back. Arm drag take down. How did he muscle down that big man? I'll never know. Wild Wyndham trying to get back to his feet. He does not want to be embarrassed in this tag team title match. This is the close line. Try it again. Wild Wyndham anchored himself right there. Nips up to his feet. Wyndham pushes off. Twisting, spinning head scissors as Wild Wyndham takes the foot on the outside. Wild Wyndham on the floor. To Prodigy in the ring. He prepares. He lost. He flies. up against the side beam supporting the two repos. Oh, that was a devastating fall. Kid Prodigy might not be the same after that. Wild Wyndham found a counter. 
He just simply waited for the body to fly. Look at Kim Prodigy, leap off the ropes and connect with the traffic, sending him to the floor. Kim Prodigy might prepare to take a chance again. Watch out! Fly body attack! He hit the plancha! And Wild well, Wyndham caught the body and tried to spike Kim Prodigy on the floor at the same time. Mike Strong on his feet. He might have plans on taking flight too, but Wild Wyndham isn't even standing and is quite a far distance away from everything. Watch Mike Strong take a chance. He's going on the top rope with a flight body attack on Wild Wyndham on the outside. The tag team champions doing everything in their power to make Wild Wyndham regret all the comments that he made against the tag team champions. Kid Prodigy from the one neutral corner to the next. Jumps, but they could not connect on the monkey toss. Wyndham held on. Pushes Kid Prodigy along the middle ropes. Got caught. Watch out. Wild Wyndham. Oh my. The Sweetwater takes his slam. And he just dumped him right onto his back and his head. And Kid Prodigy barely gets his shoulder up to prevent the titles from changing hands. Very emotional crowd wanting to see Kid Prodigy win this. On behalf of his team. But as soon as Wild Wyndham entered this match, the whole entire complexion of the match changed. Look at this. Nasty bow and arrow stretch, legs trapped, crossed. But Seymour Bunt says there was no submission and this match continues. You know, Wyndham does not want to keep his shoulders pinned on the mat for any time. Might be trying to turn him for a cramp. Nope. Monkey toss, but Kid Prodigy puts a stop to that. Now, a variety of roundhouse kicks, but the last one, the third one, was blocked and then a slap right across the face. Cheap shot by Wyndham with the forearm to Strong. Wingham on top of the Kid Prodigy, the title's at stake, and Mike Strong interrupts the count. He's mounting Wingham with a number of right hands, but he rolls to the outside. Mike Strong cannot illegally enter this ring. He has to wait till a tag is made. And those clickies came within a fraction of a second of becoming the new tag team champions. And now the count is being administered. Wyndham has to get into the ring, and he has. Kid Prodigy cannot make the tag. He missed twice, three times. And now he's got his hands clasped on that right leg and ankle. Unique submission hold. It's leg strength of Wild Wyndham holding and forcing Kid Prodigy and preventing him from moving any further. Is he grabbing the man from the nostrils? The kid can't breathe. Now, this is right. Go back to Jackson. <laughs> Wyndham doesn't mind having all the insides of the nostrils draped all across his fingertips. It only brings some enthusiasm as he's now in the process of doing Hindu squats as he prepares his legs for the next strike. Nearly punted him right in the chest. His head and neck, his shoulders all throbbing in pain. Wyndham was trying to get the win by draping one of his feet on the fallen victim, and then he was trying to use the ropes for extra leverage, like it was even necessary. Prodigy standing, roundhouse kicks. Both men clinch. Wyndham belly to belly over the shoulder suplex. Beautiful throw by Wild Wyndham as he hooks the outside leg. Mike Strong breaks up the count. Not yet, not enough, as this match continues between the Clickies, the Strong Prodigies, with the tag team title gold at stake. Wild Wyndham taking control of the match, slowing the tempo down deliberately with a pace such that the clickies can continue to mold and make an imprint all over the 
the soul of this young man. Snapmare takeover by Wild Wyndham, now jerking the back of his head and neck. And now trying to suffocate the man. He's clasping both of his hands across his mouth and his lungs. And still additional pressure being tightened across his, his neck. And then with extra pressure, that might help him score the solution. Seymour Butts apparently not able to see from the distance as he was too focused on Kid Prodigy. What a roundhouse kick that was. Not too many individuals of any shape or size will get up from that shot. And look at Kid Prodigy. The only thing he could do, use that stinks to flinch and to avoid suffering the defeat. This is a painful sight for Mike Strong to see, that's for sure. He's pleading for his partner to get up and attack out. The Wild Wyndham is making this kid pay and learn a lesson. Wild Wyndham over and over again, repeatedly striking the kid prodigy while he's down. Here, regardless of the rope breaks, Wild Wyndham still attacks. Special drop kick to the left pectoral muscle. Step up, trying to get a DDT. He gets it. The Wild Wyndham, he fell the wrong way. I think Ken Prodigy's closer to his partner. He's going to tag out now. as Wyndham's body ricochets all the way across the ring. Strong trying to win it by himself. And you gotta think about all the time that Ecstasy's had to recover on the ring apron. Gut wrench, can he pick the big man up? He does, look at his strength. Oh, Wyndham landing on his feet. Wyndham counters and he hits his own gut wrench suplex. A momentum switching moment, now Wyndham with a chance to tag out. Here's Ecstasy. Which, which team is going to be the most dominant in this next chapter of this one? Ecstasy finding the, the spine in the middle of the back and he's attacking Mike Strong's back with a variety of leg drops and elbows. Mike Strong leaned up against the ropes as Ecstasy sends him for the ride. Nice hip toss. The champions with their titles at stake. Kid Prodigy a non-issue. He's down and he has not recovered yet. Wild Wyndham hasn't been moving too well either. It's these two men for the tag titles right now. Ecstasy with a springboard wrist lock takeover. Incredible balance by this man. Can we see new tag team champions? Drop kick. I don't know if he got him 100%. Ecstasy might have landed a little awkwardly. And now he cinches underneath. Price over the shoulder throw. A beautiful Heyman's noose over the shoulder suplex drop. And Kid Prodigy now on his feet watching all the action transpire. Look at the strength of Mike Strong. Is there a tag lead? Big body slam. Kid Prodigy walking the ropes right here. This is dangerous. Mike Strong plants ecstasy again with a body slam. The Kid Prodigy preparing to take leap. 